Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Central Organ Survival Network coming at you again. It's been a while since I've done a video, so I've been kind of working on some stuff on the side, and I've been pretty busy lately. So I decided to do a video of some of the stuff that I've been working on. So today I want to cover some low-tech security items, and basically trip wires. Now, for some reason, I got into a crazy evolution of trip wires. Now I started um, not really researching because I had a lot of good ideas but I did do some research trying to find some different types of trip wires and what's best. Now I'm not going to cover the tactics or the, the strategic positioning of trip wires. Um, that's for a totally different video, you know, doing layers and sectors. I'm not going to cover that on this video. What I am going to cover is the trip wires that uh, I've created and also that I've purchased. So first off though, is I want to go super low, super low tech, and of course everybody knows that you know it's really easy to create some trip wires. I have of course some cans. That's your first and foremost easiest, cost effective way to make some trip wires. You just lay it out right along the, the path and easy good to go. Now get into to the evolution portion of this. So what I did is I started to research and on the internet and I wanted to find something that I could purchase and hopefully I was trying to find something low cost. So I started to research and, and I found what was called a capsis. This is a, a kind of a camp safety type tripwire device. Now I, I purchased this with the assumption that, that it was a little bit bigger, a little uh, maybe higher tech what I got was not what I expected. So first off, this is the actual unit right here. So I started looking at it and inspecting it and seeing, basically it came, I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger like I said. It has a red light on it, I guess for maybe a flashlight to set it up or whatnot, I'm not quite sure. Maybe a flashlight, like I said. It has a strobe. Now this strobe also goes off when this is triggered, but uh, I, you know, I guess to, you know, if you're doing some sort of uh, sector type deal or maybe just to, to alert you visually of somebody coming in the area, that's not too bad of an idea. A um, couple drawbacks of this. One, and I'll show you, I'll show you the tripping device on this. It's basically this, this piece right here. You mount this on whatever camper trailer, and I'll go over mounting too. I don't like what it came with. And you pull out on this. Just like that. Yeah, that seems like it's pretty loud on the camera. Uh, it's They're putting on the box that it's 135 decibels. I actually have a decibel meter. This only puts out 80 decibels. Now, you could say, well, the battery's weak or whatnot. I did go and research a little bit more. I didn't want to go buy another battery because the battery inside this is five bucks. And I already spent $26 on this tripwire device. And I did it knowing that it is expensive and but I really wanted to see what was out there so I, I purchased it and I'm very disappointed in it and what it came with as far as mounting is basically a double back sided tape so I guess you can stick it to a tent or a trailer I'm not really quite sure I did also come with some zip ties you can either zip tie it to a branch or maybe something low lined or hanging um, not very big zip ties so you're gonna have to find something pretty small came with some duct tape also came with indicator lights I'm not quite sure uh, maybe so you can that one there we go that one you know I don't quite know it's got sticky tape uh, one-time use you know I don't you stick that on something maybe to indicate where this is at but you know as well as I do that the two-legged variety is way worse than your than your animal uh, variety so I'm not quite sure what they were thinking as far as mounting but that that is just not acceptable so big thing on this not cost effective it's only 80 decibels and which is loud but you know they're saying that's supposed to be 135 it's not even close even with you know a weak battery it should should produce and the big thing that started my evolution on this is it is not waterproof that was what really got me thinking of you know I need something I can stick out there uh, for security 
uh, non-lethal defense, and this is not it. Okay, I, I pretty disappointed. Do not buy this. I do not suggest buying this. Uh, you probably won't be happy with it. Okay, so going on to my evolution. Now I was thinking, well, I need to I need to create something, maybe cost effective, and it's loud. Well, you probably have seen this on a couple different videos on YouTube. It is where I uh, got the idea. Is off of YouTube, of course. Uh, you might not have seen this because I've actually made the backing and everything for it. But you most likely have seen this siren. It's a Dollar Tree siren. You get it for a dollar, and it's a magnet activated siren. So it has a little magnet. They say that it can be used on windows, doors, and so forth. And it does have a sticky back so that you can do that. Now, what I've done is I've actually made a backing out of a coffee can, and I put a top portion on here, kind of a, a you can say a rain cover, because again, these are not waterproof. But I've made a rain cover on this, and I've also put some wire on this and drilled a hole on each side to mount it to a tree. And I've actually used this, it works really, really effective, as you can see at the end of this video, um, you'll see a demonstration. <clears throat> now. What I also did is it comes with some sort of plastic magnet. Um, I didn't like it because it didn't mount the way I wanted it to. And with this metal backing, it's great. I went down and bought, oh, this one's actually on. So with this metal backing, I went and bought some little round magnets to put my string through. As you can see, it's working right now. I don't remember leaving that on. Um, so basically, you just turn it on. It's on right now. This is you tie that off to, with your string on your trip wire and it just basically really sensitive which I really like comes off and that's also 80 decibels okay turn that off this time and that's also 80 decibels now this whole little unit and it, what I also like about it is it's small the only thing I really don't like about it again one it's not waterproof number two is the batteries are little watch batteries. So one, they run out really fast. And number two, you have to buy a bunch to make sure that you can keep going. And number three, I didn't state that I did buy four of these and two of them did not work when I purchased them, but I, I did end up fixing them. Um, it's a nice little unit again. <clears throat> um, later in the comments, if you wanna see how to build this backing or even build the whole thing, go ahead and comment me and maybe I'll do a DIY do-it-yourself video on how to build one of these. A dollar fifty versus twenty-six bucks. Okay, I could buy twenty of these. That's just as effective, just as loud as this one. But I bought this one for a buck fifty, so I can get twenty of these for the cost of one of these, and it just does not weigh. So now, what we're gonna do is move on with the evolution. So I kept thinking, well, I need to make something waterproof. I kept. You know, thinking in my head, I need to do something that I can leave out there. Well, this isn't waterproof, but this is another device that you can use in your house, and this is just part of the evolution. It is a light switch, and it has a siren mounted on it right here. Like I said, that it isn't waterproof. It is about 100 decibels using a 9-volt battery inside. Basically, you attach a trip wire. There is a rubber band on here, so that it, it releases the string so you don't bust the string off. It might break, but that's okay, as long as it does, it serves its purpose. So basically you just pull, and that is ear shattering, let me tell you. And this is nice, because you can actually uh, put any type of backing on this that you want. You can put, um, you know, double-sided sticky tape. You can use Velcro and different things to mount this, even just set it on the floor, and I guarantee you, that this will pull nice and easy and it'll go off. Okay, you can use that for doors, windows, in the house. You could probably use it for external use. I wouldn't suggest it because like I said, it's not waterproof, this siren is sitting up. That's kind of what I call my light switch alarm. You can also do a video on that, how to build that if you're interested. This is the next step in my evolution. So <clears throat> what I did is I was like, okay, well I need, I want it to be loud, I want you know, something sealed that I can leave out there again. This is what I call a tree mount. It's about eight by six inches on a, the backing board. I've drilled holes in it and I've actually mounted, pre-drilled and put nails into this so I can just punch it into a tree. And you know, you could, I guess in a real pinch of a scenario, you can actually pound this into a wall 
and use it on the interior. What I really like about this trap, it's got a 135 decibel alarm, 9 volt battery. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking 9 volt battery. Why is he using 9 volts? Because a, a lot of preppers go with double A's and make a standard across the board. Well, what you can do is just get a double A power pack. This is off eBay for about, uh, I think it was about 9 bucks and it is a six volt to 12 volt alarm. Now what you're gonna get is about probably 110 decibels with six and then so on and so forth as you upgrade in your <coughs> voltage. Now also this unit and this, this alarm here is water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. That's why if you could tell I turned it downward, water can't get into the actual siren and this could probably sit outside for quite a while, which I am going to experiment with. Um, this is a 9-volt little battery pack that I bought. Well, it's basically an electronics box, and I sealed it, sealed the, the wires going through. Now, you can probably see right here, these are your clothespins. This is also what I call a clothespin device. You've probably seen this on YouTube or some of the other traps. that you have clo clothespins for your, your trap your devices and on these is basically just screws that make contact you have a plastic piece which is this here what I also like about this trap is it's double sided I have one out this side one out this side so I can run two trip wires off of one trap now when these come out it basically is pull and that again is ear shattering so that right there I guarantee you will wake somebody up and let you know where you're at, what sector they're in, and so forth. Well, maybe not what sector, and we'll get into that in a minute. So, that is my tree mount. Um, pretty waterproof, and it's the clothespin type, type setup that I've also done. Now, the next step in my evolution, <clears throat> which I spent quite a bit of time, a lot of thought, and this is what I came up with, a fully waterproof, 9 volt, 135 decibel, and you, like I said, you can switch to your double A's. You can ground mount, you can tree mount, and it's a little bit bigger than, of course, well, it's quite a bit bigger than your little guys here, and it's just about as big as this device. But what I also recommend is going out, and, and uh, it's really not that expensive to buy little chunks or pieces, going out and buying you some camo netting. Now, this stuff is great. It's got double-sided green or, or tan, depending where you're at. You know, you basically put it over on the tree, breaks up the outline, and let me tell you that if you're not looking for it, you're not going to find it, especially at night. All right, so I call it uh, an M96. I just kind of named it because it really doesn't have a name. You can call it, uh, I know it kind of looks like a pipe bomb. It is not, I assure you. And this is what I've came up with. Now, this is, like I said, fully waterproof, and I really like it because it has a lot of options. Like I said, it's a ground mount. You have your spikes here. These spikes actually unscrew. You can actually screw in eyelets into the bottom. So you can actually mount, there's eyelet for each side. You can mount this onto a tree with some wire. Or like I said, you can take and you can put your spikes in and ground mount. And you can also, like I said, use your camouflage, camouflage it once you ground mount it. Now, what I was talking about, about sectors and sector light is what you have here. This is the portion that comes off. This is an arming switch, okay? So basically, when it's tripped, and this is a fitted, not, not from, you know, if you, buy, if you know about PVC piping, this has been fine-tuned so that it comes off nice and easy, slips off nice and easy. So when this is pulled, Bam, the, the trap goes off. Of course, I have it unarmed right now, but that goes on. You have your sector light and your arming switch. So basically, you, you put it in your ground, you arm it, and then they pull it out. That is also ear shattering. As you can see, this is a flashing red light. Now, you're asking, well, why well, you got a light on it? You know, they'll find it, they'll see it. Well, one of the issues is also that if you have four of these out there or so, in different areas I call sectors and one goes off in the middle of the night it's kind of hard to place it and that's why I put the red light on it it won't broadcast a huge signature but it'll broadcast enough so where you can see it from your defensive position and you can hone in on it and you know what area has been breached okay 
So this is what I call the M96. This is my end result. If you guys want to see uh, some of this other stuff that I've, I've built and put together, a little bit of do-it-yourself projects, let me know. Comment me. If you have any questions or anything you would like to add, if, if you guys got something out there that you've created or even uh, found on the internet, please let me know. I would be great to, to, to see what, what's out there. Uh, I did, like I said, do some research on this stuff and I appreciate all your, your comments and please subscribe. Thank you for your time. This is Central Organ Survival Network. Have a great day.